Hi, I'm Stephanie, and in today's episode we're going to be making some cross-stitch pillows. It's a great way to finish your small cross-stitch project. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy sewing, crafting, DIY, remodels. So let's get started. These finished cross-stitch pieces are four and a half by four and a half inches. I also cut white fabric for the backing of each cross stitch piece, which is also four and a half by four and a half inches. Now I am cutting a width of fabric, which is 45 inches by four and a half inches. These six inch by four and a half inch squares will be the back pieces for the cross stitch pillow. I decided to make accent pillows in the same fabric. These are four and a half inch by four and a half inch squares, two for each pillow. For the cross stitch pillow backing pieces, take one six inch by four and a half inch square, fold it in half and press. You're gonna do this two times for each pillow. Take two fold it over six inch by four inch squares, and you're going to make this folded over equal four and a half inches. So the overlap will be whatever it is, um, but the overall square will be four and a half inches, and then you're gonna pin it in the middle, and this will be the back overlap for the cross stitch pillow. Once we have our back pinned, take your cross stitch piece, right side to right side, and then take the white fabric square, put that on the back of the wrong side of the cross stitch piece. For the accent pillows, you're just going to do right side to right side and pin. These will be the pillow inserts for the cross stitch pillows. I actually made these too small in the video. I made them four inch by four inch, which they weren't as fluffy as I wanted. So I recommend making these the same size, four and a half inch by four and a half inch squares, two per pillow, and these will be the inserts. For this project, all pillow seams will be one quarter inch. Be sure to leave open one and a half inches so you can turn each pillow. For the cross stitch pillow, we're gonna change some pins. So I'm going to take the corner pin, I'm going to pin them together where the overlap happens. Pin all the pieces together. And take out the pins on the inside so that way when we stitch it together, we won't have to fish those out later. Again, I'm only pinning where the overlap, overlap happens through all of the pieces. So I won't have any pins on the inside, it'll just be at where the overlap is 
and I'm including the entire cross stitch fabric sandwich. This pillow will be different. I'm actually stitching all sides. I'm not leaving any openings since the back is flapped and we'll be able to flip it that way. Now that we have all our pillows closed, I did a simple zigzag stitch to close all of the open seams. I'm clipping all the extra threading and then we'll get to turning. Be sure to clip all of your corners so you can have a nice tight corner when you flip it. Just be careful not to clip the seam that opens or that closes the pillow up. Then we're gonna turn each pillow out. I use a chopstick, this one happens to be from Ikea, um, to turn each corner. That way, like using a pen or a pencil or something, you're not going to mark up your fabric. For the pillow insert and the accent pillows, I'm going to use polyfill to stuff each pillow. Be sure to overstuff a little bit because it will settle over time. Closing the pillows will be up to you. You can do it on the machine, you can do a blind stitch, hand sewing. I'm not super great at that, but it's better than the machine, <laughs> in my opinion. I felt the accent pillows needed a little extra, so I tufted them using embroidery floss. I just made a little X and went back and forth a couple times and then tied it off. I absolutely love the way these turned out. I plan on doing them for each season 
and just for the regular cross stitch little pieces that are um, nice and short, easily done. Um, they're great for any design, any decoration, any style. I just think adding a little bit of um, classic cross stitch to your decor is just so eclectic and cute. Um, I made these for fall and actually uh, bowl filler and anyway, I'm rambling. Anyway, this is how they turned out. Let me know what you think of them and any ideas that you would use them for. Leave those thoughts in the comments. And also, if you like these cross stitch, I'll try to leave the cross stitch pattern free for download in the description box below, along with any other information that you may need to complete this project. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy DIYs, decorating, crafts, things like that. Um, and hit the bell for notifications of any other videos that I post. Thanks again for watching.